so I'm about to catch Sonny, which is this red feller over here. He is leaving us today. And I'm a little sad, but I'm also very glad because he is gonna go do some amazing things and make a lot of children happy at Saddle Up. Hi, darling. This is the last time I'm catching you in the pasture. It's kind of sad. So Saddle Up is an amazing organization and it is a therapy center for children or just young adults. Because Sonny injured himself about a, a year into us owning him, we bought him as a show horse and he was an amazing show horse and he injured himself past repair to be a show horse, but he's plenty fine and sound to tote around little kids, walk and trot around. And so he's been wasted here. He hangs out in the pasture most days and he's only nine years old. So we looked into Saddle Up, which I had volunteered at a little bit in high school and called them up and asked if they needed any therapy horses. And he's the perfect size for them. He's the perfect temperament for them. And so they came and tried him out and loved him. So we're about to go drop him off for his 90 day trial, which they are very optimistic about. And we're gonna go see where he's gonna live. We are donating him, but everyone asks like, well, what happens if they don't need him anymore? Or if he doesn't work out, he would come back to us. So I'm gonna go groom him just a little bit cause he looks a little nasty. I don't wanna show up with a nasty looking boy. So we're gonna go make him pretty and then put him on the trailer and take him over. Get your mane all brushed out. You're a little sweaty. Let me get you some fly spray. I know, you're a fly pansy. First I sneeze, now you sneeze. I have this really good curry comb, there it is. Start off with the trusty old flour curry comb. It is so good. If you hear turkey noises, that's my friend's little boy down there practicing his turkey calls. Always something going on. You need to shut out, buddy. You're still a little wooly. Oh, is that a good spot? Is that the spot? Oh yeah, we're getting you shiny now, buddy. Look at all that dirt. That's another thing that's so great about Sonny for this program is look how quiet he is in the cross ties. He's just standing here to be groomed. That's why ex-show horses are usually really great candidates to retire as therapy horses because they've been put in a situation where they have to be so well-trained and well-behaved that it's just second nature for them at that point. And so with little kids or with adults who don't have the physical ability to like be with a rambunctious horse, like these horses are just perfect. Are you wanting attention? He was just trying to nip at your camera. That's your favorite spot, isn't it? Look at that loose lip. Look at that loose lip. Looks like you got a little bit of a scab where a couple of the boys have been, he goes out with a bunch of gildings and they're, they're a little rambunctious sometimes. Are you one of the rambunctious ones? You're about to make a bunch of new friends. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna brush out his mane just a little bit. So his hair is so scraggly in spots, it makes me wanna trim his mane so bad, but I'm not gonna. I know y'all been traumatized by my scissor skills before.
pretty boy. Look at you. All right, he looks pretty clean. I'm gonna go get a bucket full of grain for him because I have to take five days worth of grain just to like let him have the food he's used to for a few days and then we'll be all good. So I'm gonna go fill this up. So if I remember correctly, he's getting like a scoop at morning and night right now. Yeah, exactly. Did we just get hydroxyzine for Sunny or is it like, cause I'm about to take him and so I'm wondering, do I just take the whole bottle for him or do I just, like is there, if there's not a lot left, I'll just take the whole bottle. I'll just give them the whole bottle. Because we don't use it for anyone else, right? Okay. Yeah, I'll just I'll give them that whole meds thing. Okay. I'm gonna go to one. I got it. Okay. Say bye to Sunny. See ya. So he needs. I'm gonna give him. If I can fit six days in here, I'll do six days. But I think it's gonna be close to even do five days. I'm sure they wanted just like a bag of feed, but. We dump all of our bags into barrels and I totally forgot to do that, so, oops. We'll go load this up with his meds and then we'll load you up. A lot of the times when we're doing a haul, we'll wrap their legs or, you know, we load them up with hay for the ride or whatever. This is like a 20 minute drive, so it's not nothing to worry about. All right, buddy, time to go. He's such a good boy. You guys sniff the poop? Well, come on. Come on. Now, he hasn't been on a trailer probably in four years. Come on, buddy. The brood mirrors didn't give me this much problem now, did they? You are just so sniffy. I'll give you a minute. You can sniff. There we go. Sometimes they're just goofy like that. Don't do that. You're all loaded. All right, we're good. Oh yeah, Sonny's getting an upgrade. Sonny's gonna be just fine. Don't be, don't be feeling sad for Mr. Sonny being donated. I wanna be donated. If this is where I get to go, donate me. Okay, the problem is, I don't know where to go with the trailer. I'm like, where do I drop off the horse here, bud? Thanks for calling Saddle Up, how can I help you? Hi there, I'm dropping a horse off today that I'm donating and I, I think I may have pulled in the wrong entrance and I'm sitting by the red barn but it's like next to the little parking lot and i'm not sure where to go red barn next to the little parking lot um let me i'm gonna put you on hold for just a second and see if you are in our our driveway or next door <laughs> digging this hold music <laughs> Hi. No, you are in the perfect place. Perfect. Um, so if you start driving straight back, you'll see a second gate. Yep. The code for that. And I will call Susanna to let you know you're here. This is beautiful, and I am so happy for Sunny. Sunny... He better be thanking me, honestly. He's about to have a bunch of treats and a bunch of little kids that love him. And looks like freaking a palace. That's what he's getting. You sweated a bunch. Good Lord. Um, the Purina Impact, and it's not, it's like the mid-level, like, 
I'm trying to think of the name of it. We changed it recently. I can go look at the bag when I go home, but yeah, it's like, yeah, it's nothing crazy. And he gets like a scoop. Like he doesn't, he's a very easy keeper. Yeah. He well, could, we do carry a pot product also. He, has, he got a little sweaty. The strategy is probably yeah. what I would do. Hi, Daddy. He's a little sweaty. Yeah. Is there somewhere I can hose him off? Yeah, sure. Over here. He was um, fascinated. He hadn't been on a trailer in a while, and he was fascinated with the uh, straw. And it took me a while to get him to stop sniffing it to get on the dang trailer. And so my husband told me, he's like, "Oh, so you're gonna like, you're gonna go through the class and like volunteer?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he was like. I want to do it. So now he wants to do it and like, okay. so. That's this place is amazing. How old are you? Nine. Oh. Well, buddy. I saw, it looks amazing. Thank you. Well, he can use the quarantine paddock, but we're going to put him in a stall first. first. Yeah, he went out all morning so that he got some outside time today. Oh yeah. Hi, baby boy. Are you? You're a, good you're a drinker. You can have it. He must have gotten nervous or something. He, had, I mean, he hasn't been on a trailer in a long time, but he he got sweaty. And it did take us like the most windy back road way to get here. There was never like it was just so many stoplights and so many. So it took a minute. So. Double squeegee, you friend. How you doing? So, so um, is he gonna get to keep his mane, or do y'all oh, trim yeah, everything? Yeah, no, we don't have to. Um, and if you tell me you don't want it trimmed at all, like. Oh no, I think it's growing out so nice and thick. I think it'd be so pretty long. So I have an Andalusian. Uh huh. And you don't ever touch their mane and tail. Uh huh. And uh, so I'm pretty. He's always had a short one for showing, and so he's you know we've let it grow out, and it's getting it's so thick and nice. Some of them can't handle it. it look, it's like all scraggly and yeah. it's just better to keep them short. But his is nice. And he's always got the prettiest forelock. You're going to be pampered, buddy. Oh, yeah. They're spoiled here. I love it. So he was a, a trail horse. So not like outside trail, but like the, the super intense trail patterns. And uh -huh. he was really, really good. Where are we at? Oh, he is such a, they're such nice stalls. Yeah, they stay in for five days. Then. Oh, yeah. He looks so good. Oh, he looks good. He looks so good. He's liking that hay, though. If you keep food in front of him, he's good. When I was showing him, we kept him on omeprazole. Um, but I don't know that he's going to be getting that hard of work. I'll let him settle in before we come and do the class. We're, yeah. We have a busy summer, but maybe yeah. this, you know, later summer or early fall, we'll come do the class and then yes. we can set up yes. being his handler. So is that able, are we able to do that? Like yeah. be his handler specifically? Oh yeah, we can okay. make that happen for okay. sure. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank I'm excited, you. but wonderful. we're going to head out and right. let me know if you need anything. You Will you grab my drink on your way in? I feel very good about this. You know, sometimes you have like last minute regrets or you're feeling like, oh, I don't know, none of that. I'm so happy where he is right now. He's gonna be so well taken care of. And the fact that they're so like willing to let me come be a part of his like program, like be his handler and whatnot. And I'm so excited. Well, I can't officially say that Sonny is gone, that he's no longer mine because he is still in the trial period, but there's not really a whole lot of worries that he's not going to be a complete angel and amazing. And so we're just going to cross our fingers and pray for him that this whole thing works out amazingly because Saddle Up, their, their facility is amazing, the people are amazing, what they do for children is just amazing. And I couldn't be happier for Sonny to live out his days being pampered by kids, given treats, and doing minimal effort work, which is what he's always wanted to do. So 
I hope you all enjoyed that. Stay tuned for when I go through the training to be a volunteer, for when I go be his handler and all that good stuff in the future. I'm so excited. If you wouldn't mind, comment, like, subscribe before you leave. Those things help me out so much and I'll see you in the next one.